Bit of a video with a difference this time. I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm in the hills above Huntsville, Alabama at the Von Braun Astronomical Society. We're in the dome. Here's a big telescope. You can't actually see the stars at the moment because it's not open yet, but we'll be looking at the stars later. But before we do that, I want to show you a few other stars. Have a look at this. This is the old original journal that they used for people who would come and visit the Astronomical Society. Back then, it was actually called the Rocket City Astronomical Association. It's changed its name since. I'm here with James. Mm -hmm. James, you have a lot to do with the place, don't you? Well, I'm, I'm a member here. I do presentations in the planetarium. You do know a little bit about yes. this. Yes. And I am particularly interested in this because I'm a bit of a, a space buff, yeah. as you know, yes. and a really important guy in the founding of this association, yes. the society, is a guy called Werner von Braun. Right. Who's this guy? Tell everyone who Werner von Braun is. Well, basically, Werner von Braun was the chief designer of the Saturn V rocket, and actually, the Redstone rocket, and was headed up the Army Missile Team agency that was here, and then transitioned to heading up NASA uh, for a period of time until it went to NASA at headquarters in, in Washington, D.C. So he was, he was like a genius rocket designer. Yes, I yes. mean, a lot of people say it really is him who but had a lot to do with getting man on the moon. Right, absolutely. They say most likely we wouldn't have gotten there in the time frame that was, uh, Kennedy had challenged us to be there if it wasn't for him. And when he wasn't putting man on the moon, he was here looking at the stars That's right. on this very spot. Absolutely. And if you don't believe me, well, you're going to have to believe right. me because we have got here. Well, he has signed this book many times. Yes. You particularly like this signature, don't you? Tell me why you like this one. Well, this is on uh, Christmas Eve 1960. Basically, who's logged in here is his youngest daughter, Marguerite, and she wrote next to her name, a Merry Christmas, and right behind it is the oldest daughter, um, Iris. She was 12 at the time, and then Vernon Ron Braun. So on Christmas Eve, he bought his, brought his daughters up here to look through the telescope. Look at that. Perfect yep. Christmas present. That's right. That's right. That's not my favorite signature in the book. Ah, there are two yes. others I particularly yes. like. Because obviously, Werner von Braun, this is a pretty influential guy. He can, he can bring some pretty important people up here if he wants. Right. And he brought a group up here on the 28th of June, 1959. There were obviously some pretty important spacey people. Right. And two of these signatures really excite me. You can tell the people who well, they are. They just realized that two months before this, they had announced the names of the Mercury 7 astronauts. That was April of 1959. These were gonna be the first seven Americans to go into space. Exactly. These, these were superstars at the time. And in here, logged in, is Gordo Cooper, signed in here, Leroy G. Cooper, Jr., and then also Alan B. Shepard, Jr who became the first American in space. That's right, and Gordo Cooper was the last one of the Mercury 7 astronauts to go into the Mercury capsules. And it's interesting here, they've made a little note of what they did while they were here, right. and it says here, saw Jupiter and four moons. Right. Now James, I don't know if you know this, I don't even know if the viewers know this, but I collect sort of space mm -hmm. autographs and signatures, it's a bit of a hobby of mine. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure you should be entrusting me with this. Oh, oh it might disappear it after might this, disappear. okay. So look, okay. I'm, I'm gonna give it back to you, okay. and you're gonna let me sign the continuation yes. of this logo. Right. So you now have a slightly less valuable signature to add to your collection. We, anybody that comes to our planetarium shows can also sign in our log book and be part of our log um, that includes Werner von Braun. I'm and not, you now. And me too. Yes. Thank you very much yeah. for showing me this Excellent. amazing document. It's a, it's a wonderful <laughs> object. Thank you. This is something I, I rather like because it's a working preparatory drawing and you can see it's covered with bits of paint and oil and, and string and all manner of things. No offence, but it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> it is a bit of a mess. It's fantastic though. What, yeah, tell, tell me yeah. the story.